So right now the U-Haul's hydro locked. Oh gosh, that's the issue. The U-Haul's hydro locked. There's water in it, so do you have a spark plug? I took one out trying to crank it. Oh, it's, everything's probably there's, there's definitely water in there. Oh yeah, there's water in the car. Now it's for the big test. Not that one. But if it did turn over, then that'd be the spark plug that was bad, right? Yeah, but I'm afraid that all of them have water in it. Yeah. Well, this thing has not been started for two months, and it's been sitting at the house for like uh, six months. Ran when I last started it, which was June 9th. Oh, that one too. oh gosh. Maybe that'll make it run a little bit better. This is junk ass spark plug with like rubber in it. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's running rich too. There's water in there too. Oh my gosh. You want me to try to turn it over? No. Did the first one have water in it? Okay guys, so uh might have been running rich too because the spark plugs look bad. My dad broke a couple. And they have water in it. So, probably with a new set of uh, eight spark plugs, this thing will run a little bit better. But, probably not by much, but it'll probably run a bit better. So. Is there any other spark plugs on the other side? Yeah. Four on each side. Oh, okay. I get it. It's a V8. Did we even change the spark plugs in this thing when we had it? I think me and Grandpa changed them. They look pretty fouled up. That's probably why it's running pretty, pretty bad. It'll probably run a bit better with a new set of plugs. Dad, you're bleeding. I know. Did you cut yourself again or? I scraped myself on the engine here. Oh, that's worse. And that's why. Ooh. Holy crap. That's probably the one. It might, Definitely one of them. <laughs> it might, uh, crank with no compression now. We'll, we'll get this last one out on this side and see what it does. It, if it doesn't do anything, then it's all the spark plugs. Did that first one have water in it? Yeah, all of it so far. Yeah. That is not good. Because I think it might have went through this hole and I found a way into the carburetor and then the spark plugs and it hydro locked. I don't see the last one. <coughs> yep, there was some water coming out. So, I don't think we can pull this forward today, guys. So, I'm going to have to call this the two videos so far. The U-Haul's Hydro Lock Part 1 and then the U-Haul's Hydro Lock Part 2. And I'll call this video... Checking and see, checking the spark plugs. So, so we had a 1999 Buick LeSabre 3800. Well, when my other channel is not blocked, uh, I made a video on that Buick because it was hydro locked as well. It was, it was a spark plug six where it had water in it. 
or but this has to be probably all the spark plugs. But it might not. Is that part of the last one? Part of the last one. Yeah. Oh. I mean, what size do they... Is all the spark plugs the same size? These ones, yeah. Or your, your trucks don't take one, but... Is Big Bird the... Does Big Bird have the spark plugs on the four sides as well? Four spark plugs on four sides. I mean, on the two sides. Let me add. In the way or something? Yeah. That's probably a much better. Hold it down. I am. So you guys remember the last time we, two times we tried to start it, nothing. Keep it pressed. Yep. So... This guy bought 53. He's a YouTuber. He had a 1978 Ford LTD. He had a hydro locked uh, motor. Just took all the spark plugs out. And he just uh, cranked it for like uh, 10 seconds. Then load off a whole bunch of water came out of that. But this will too. There was a whole bunch of water coming out of one. Wow, I can't believe it's hydro locked because it got water in it. First time it hydro locked. So we only took the four spark plugs out of this side, and the other four are still in there. But if, if it still clicks, nothing. That the booster's on there, of course. But then, if it still clicks, then probably more spark plugs are watery. Not Must be the other ones. Can I let the clutch off? Yep. Okay. Okay. I kind of knew. I kind of figured it wasn't going to crank. Or it could be that coolant thing has a hole in it. Water got in there. Mm, no. Can't believe this thing doesn't overheat with no coolant. That's got coolant. <laughs> it's probably low though, maybe. Is it? Oh, is that the oil dipstick right there? Or is that the trainee dipstick? No, it's on this manual. That's cool. I don't think does manual transmissions have a uh, trainee dipsticks, or is it just automatic? Not, not usually. This is Big Bird? Uh, no. Uh, still has a lot of washer fluid in there. Which is kind of weird. It's like filled right to here. That's the washer fluid. Point.
Ooh, that one's got a lot of water in it. Is it, is it coming out? Yeah, sounded like pouring a jug in my throat. I kind of heard it a little bit. <laughs> That's probably the one right there. Where is it dripping at? <laughs> all of them, I, I have a feeling that all of them are watery. I was kind of thinking, this one will probably have a lot of water coming out too. Well, we had a lot of rain, and this thing hasn't been started in two months. And a lot of water got in there, so that that's probably why. That one smells like old gas. The, one of the broken ones. What about this one? Old gas. Oh man. That one mostly smells like old gas and water. Yeah, it smells like old gas. This thing, this thing uh, smells like old gas. That's what the spark plugs smell like. Old gas. It's like a one, okay, three, he broke. Bee buddy, huh? Are you just going to take them all out? Huh. Yeah, peace. Just take over now. Did you take them all out? All right. I have a feeling it won't crank over. What? Oh, God. Alrighty, it was, that was a lot of, yeah, that looked like, that was condensation right there, looked like condensation a little bit, so, did you just take off two on this side, holy crap, so it was all of them, oh, that smells like rotten gas, And this thing actually does sound kind of normal when it has no compression. Sounds a little weird though. Hopefully we didn't bend any rods. Oh, that'd be horrible. We might have to rebuild this motor, sadly. Unfortunately, we might. That was a lot of water coming out. <laughs> you want me to take the booster off? No. No? Oh, come on. Well, can I stop the video now? Or Yeah. Okay, okay guys, so all the spark plugs have water in it, so now it cranks over. So, see you later, guys. The water just probably went clear to the chicken coop right there.